Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a matcha latte, hot or iced. It's gonna get serious. And I even dressed for the occasion. I'm wearing my green Chamberlain Coffee crew neck, very soft, for sale online. So just know that, keep that in mind. Every matcha latte starts with the perfect shot of matcha. It's pretty easy, but there are some crucial steps. I really recommend using a little sifter like this. I think this is a sifter. If you don't use a sifter, you can find little chunks of matcha built up in the drink and it just, it doesn't sort of emulsify properly. Is that the right word? I don't know. I feel like a scientist with all my setup, so I'm using big words, excuse me. You're gonna need a half teaspoon of matcha for one shot. I sometimes do a full teaspoon, but we're gonna stick to the recipe today. I eyeball it, I eyeball everything. This is about, might be a little bit more than a half teaspoon, but it's all gonna be okay. So we're gonna add that to our sifter here. We're just gonna sift that through. You can kind of help it through with your, your little spoon. Then you're gonna add about six ounces of water, although I tend to add maybe closer to four. Listen, you have to feel it. All of this is about feel. Like that feels right to me. It's all about feel. Boiling water, hot, hot, hot water. This helps it combine nicely. Take a whisk. This one's electric, you can also use a bamboo whisk. And you're just gonna wanna froth this for about a minute, two minutes. The longer the better because matcha does need to properly sort of dissolve. And if you don't whisk it long enough, you can find those chunks of matcha in there and you don't want that. Both an iced matcha latte and a hot matcha latte start with the same first step. And it's this gorgeous concoction. What a delicious green color. I'm gonna first add it to the iced. Okay, now let's do round two. That first shot was for the iced drink. This one's gonna be for the hot. I'm always so mesmerized by this color. They always say that the eyes eat first. Okay, so this is for the hot. So now we have our bases for our matcha lattes. Let's start with the iced. We're gonna need some ice cubes. I like to add my ice cubes directly into the matcha shot and then sort of mix it around a little bit, just by hand, nothing fancy. And just kind of get that matcha really cold so that, you know, you don't just put your straw in and take a sip and have like kind of a warm sip because you didn't mix it properly. So this is an important step in my opinion. Add a few more cubes. I like my ice drinks to have a proper amount of ice. It upsets me when 10 minutes into drinking my beverage, all the ice cubes are gone. That's absolutely not okay. That feels right. Then you're gonna take a milk of your choice. This is almond milk, my favorite personally. And you can fill that up all the way to the top unless you're like me and you like to add a little bit of creamer. This is almond coconut creamer. I add this to literally everything. Finish it off with a little bit of that. Okay, that looks amazing. Excuse me, that looks amazing. Excuse me. Screw that on top, give it a little final mix. And we have our delicious and kind of massive matcha latte in the to-go cup. Run your errands with this thing, okay? But if you want a hot matcha latte, it's actually even easier. All you have to do is just literally take frothed milk of your choice, pour it on in. I like to do a little, a little final whisk, just to sort of, that's never happened to me. There's a lot to unpack here, but don't, <laughs> don't do what I did. I'm not gonna clean this up because Look at that perfect green splat. People pay big money for that. Maybe it runs in the family, I might be an artist. My dad is an artist, but like a real one, not a fake one like that. Well, now let's give it a try. What I love about the iced matcha, it's refreshingly earthy. Whereas a hot matcha latte, it, it has that same earthy flavor, but it's, it's in much more of like a warming way. Right? I mean, obviously it's like a cold drink is refreshing and hot drink is warming. Okay. There's a difference in the matcha flavor. There's like a full difference. And so that's it. That's how you make a hot matcha latte and an iced matcha latte using the Chamberlain Coffee Classic Matcha.